Hey everyone, so we are going to do a quick run through of the lower extremity arteries. We're actually going to start up here. Um, it's, I mean, these are obviously trunk arteries, but we're going to pick up after the abdominal aorta splits into the two common iliac arteries. Um, the common iliac artery splits into an external and an internal iliac artery. And it's the continuation of this external iliac artery that we are going to follow down into the lower leg and into the foot. We're not going to cover the arteries of the foot, but we're going to cover the two main arteries, the tibial and fibular artery that supply the foot. So uh, we'll pick up right here. This would be kind of the first official artery of the lower extremity for the purposes of our quiz. And that is the common femoral artery. Um, typically at least the way I'm used to learning it, and I think a lot of folks have probably learned it, is just calling that the femoral artery. It's actually very short. Um, it splits very quickly, very, very early, into a deep femoral artery and a superficial femoral artery. So just quick recap, after the um, external iliac artery passes under the inguinal ligament, pretty quickly, about an inch after, we refer to it as a common femoral artery. That splits into a deep femoral artery and a superficial artery, superficial femoral artery. So if you see a question like this on a quiz, that's a deep femoral or profunda femoral, <clears throat> sorry, profunda femoris is another option. And then if you see this one, that is superficial femoral artery. Okay. Um, I'm debating how heavy to go into these branches of the deep femoral artery, but we can we can run through them. So we have a, the first ones are medial circumflex. <clears throat> I'm sorry, our lateral circumflex, and it has a few branches. Um, I will not ask you these on the quiz, but let's run through them anyway. So we have an ascending branch, we have a transverse circumflex branch, and then we have a descending branch of the lateral circumflex artery. This kind of reminds me of the um, posterior and anterior humeral circumflexes. We have the lateral and medial circumflex arteries. So it's similar. It doesn't quite wrap around in a, in a full circumflex with an anastomosis like it did in the humerus, but it, it's, it's very similar. And that's why the names are a bit similar. So again, lateral circumflex femoral artery or lateral circumflex branch is fine. Um, the way I learned it was, I believe, lateral femoral circumflex artery. So you can see there's a lot of variation on these. Anything published, written, whether it's an app or a textbook, I'm okay with. Um, and this is the medial circumflex branch. And then we have several branches here. It looks like they've drawn three or four called perforating arteries. Uh, and you can see perforating arteries is acceptable. They've written perforating arteries of the deep femoral artery. That's fine too, of course. And that's that's it for the deep. There are some more named branches coming off of these circumflexes, but I think that's plenty. Um, so let's pick back up with the superficial femoral artery and look at some of the geniculars. So these, a genu is um, a prefix that refers to the knee. I believe it means bend. I'm not positive, but you'll see. Genu, it's, I believe, Latin used a lot in reference to the knee. For example, genu valgum um, is, a, is a kinesiology term for having a large Q angle, which just means your knees kind of come in. And genu verum is the opposite. It means like you're uh, bow-legged. So anyway, genu refers to the knee. So genicular refers to a blood supply to the knee. So the first genicular artery that we cover is the descending genicular. It looks different than the other four. So um, that's, <clears throat> I guess, something to, to keep in mind because you may remember geniculars looking a certain way. This one does not look that way. It's a little bit different. So maybe just remember the first branch off of the superficial femoral artery is the descending genicular artery. So the superficial femoral artery continues, but it changes names. So once it's back here, it's called popliteal artery. And in, in the body, in the cadaver, it's interesting. Let me add connective tissue. Oh, they don't really have it. Okay, that's a bummer. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I need to add muscle tissue. 
there it is. So there's this little hole that the femoral artery goes through on the adductor magnus. And once it passes through that hole and becomes a posterior structure, we now call it the popliteal artery. And popliteal or popliteal just refers to this back of the knee region. Um, so that's why it's called the popliteal artery, because that's where it is. So recap, descending genicular, popliteal. The popliteal has genicular arteries of its own. And these are named pretty commonsensically, superior medial, superior lateral, inferior medial, inferior lateral. Okay, so we have those four geniculars that I want you guys to know. Um, from there, we have some recurrence, but I think, yeah, recurrent, anterior tibial. Yeah, I guess let's 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 do those. Let's at least talk about them. I will um, probably not ask you about them, but this is a little bit confusing. So this is the medial inferior genicular. It does have an anastomosis with the popliteal artery. Again, it's kind of like a circumflex. So this is one structure. So don't try to think you need a new name for this. I'll do my best to tag that one right there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so back to, so we have our four geniculars and then we have coming off of the popliteal artery, we have the anterior tibial artery. And that could be tagged there or it could be tagged on the front of the interosseous membrane. It's kind of like the anterior um, anterior interosseous artery in the forearm, if you remember the posterior and anterior interosseous arteries. Uh, it's kind of like that, but this is called the anterior tibial. And then coming off of the anterior tibial artery, we have the posterior tibial recurrent artery. And that gets this front, um, front lateral part of the knee. It's pretty cool if you look at this setup. So it just has this multiple multiple pathway that blood can take to reach multiple parts of the knee. So the idea is that whether the knee is bent or straight or has a lot of pressure on it or not a lot of pressure on it, there's a blood flow. There's blood supply to the knee. Um, so let's go back down here. So we did anterior tibial. We did posterior tibial recurrent. Popliteal becomes two different arteries. It's a lot like how brachial splits into radial and ulnar. Um, popliteal splits into tibial, posterior tibial artery, I'm sorry, and fibular. So posterior tibial and fibular arteries. And that is it. It gets, you know, complicated again down in the foot, but we're not going to cover the arteries of the foot or the hand. So that's it. So let's just do a quick recap of stuff that is quizzable. So remember, external iliac artery becomes the common femoral artery about an inch after the inguinal ligament. Right there, okay? Then it splits into a deep femoral artery or profunda femoris and a superficial femoral artery. The profunda femoris, I'm sorry, right there, the profunda femoris or deep femoral artery has a lateral circumflex and a medial circumflex. So here's the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the medial circumflex femoral artery. And those have some branches. Um, I won't quiz you on them, but you have an ascending transverse and descending branch of the lateral circumflex. And then the medial circumflex, I've seen done different ways. Let's see how they do it. Let's hide this here. Let's see if they name, they don't, they just say branches, branches of the medial circumflex, which is fine. Um, so don't, so don't worry about the branches, branches of the medial or lateral circumflex arteries. Uh, then we have, let's remove some of this muscle. Then we have these arteries called perforating arteries or perforating branches. So there's one, there's one, there's one. Those are perforating arteries. And that's it for the profunda femoris. And then on the superficial femoral artery, the very first branch is the descending genicular artery. And then if we look from a posterior view, Let's go through like a quick hypothetical quiz here. So that would be superficial femoral artery. That would be descending genicular artery. And this would be popliteal artery. This would be superior medial genicular, superior lateral genicular, inferior medial genicular, inferior lateral genicular. And remember, this is just a part of the inferior medial genicular. It doesn't have its own name. All right. 
Um, and then we have the anterior tibial artery and the uh, tibial recurrent, sorry, posterior tibial recurrent artery. And then the popliteal artery splits into the deep tibial, posterior tibial, my apologies, posterior tibial artery, and the fibular artery. And that's it for the leg. It's not too bad. It's a little bit, a little bit easier than the arm. Um, I don't know. I don't know what makes something easier or harder. It's just a long list of words that you need to memorize. So I guess it's all difficult. But uh, that is it for at least what we're going to cover on extremity blood flow. Um, future blood flow that we cover will be um, abdominal, thoracic, the vessels of the heart, that sort of a thing. So uh, thank you guys, and I will talk to you soon.